Well, hello, my YouTube family. Happy birthday to me. Ooh, happy birthday to me. Ow, happy birthday to me. Yes, happy birthday to me. Woohoo! Yes. <laughs> I woke up feeling mighty fine because God has blessed me to see another year. So, 51 and counting. And Pop gave me a little moolah, which, by the way, is all gone. Like, it's all gone. Like, I took the money and I said, oh, I could do some shopping. And nothing. I didn't go to Sephora. I didn't go to Ulta. I didn't go to anywhere expensive. This is where I went, people. This is where I went. And these are all my items. And do I have any coupons? I got $4 for $15 Maybelline cosmetic purchase. So they're just encouraging me to buy more. And 25% off any tampon pads. Not really. Okay, I'll keep it with her. I'll keep the $4 off. Because I wasn't really done buying. But my wallet said, oh yes you are. So, <clears throat> oh, and, and, you see this box right here, right? Well, I opened up the box because one of my birthday purchases has arrived and I took out what was in the box. Tomcat was playing with it a minute ago. He's, I don't know, he went back under the bed. He was sleeping and then I got all excited and then he came out. He wanted to know what all the commotion was about and then he went back to sleep. So this is one of my Amazon purchases. And this is this is Emily Noel's fault. I blame her for mostly everything anyway. So this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Illumination Color Correcting Illuminating Full Coverage Cream. Whew, that's a that's a mouthful. Anti-aging hydrating serum. Uh, SPF 50, broad spectrum, natural, physical, UVA, UVB, chemical free, sunscreen, paraben free. So this is basically another full coverage foundation. This is actually my very first full coverage. I, ha I have medium to full and, I, and most of my foundations are light to medium because that's the way I really like it. But I saw her Put this on her face, Emily Noel now, not, not in my shade, of course. Her skin transformed from she has good skin to 10 times better skin. And of course, it had illumination in it. So this is mine and this is my, this is my shade in rich and yes. I'm, I may not, I may not um, do a swatching of all the other things, but this is my shade right here. And I will do a swatch for you of this. It has a pump. It looks like a tube, like a squeeze tube, but when you open it, it's a pump. And I will do a little, here I go. Oh, there we go. I'm going to just do a little dead and already it looks like it's my it's definitely my shade okay so let's do a swatch of this let's see how much illumination there is oh my god it's so my skin tone okay well I didn't put that much look at that look at that glow people what it's got shimmers I can see them but it's not crazy though look at that look at that and there is a theme to my purchases today, okay? Because I woke up, I was in kind of a YouTube -y kind of a mood. But what did I, oh, it's because Tiffany, Tiff, she goes by Tiff01 something. I forget, but I watch her videos constantly. And it's actually thanks to Mrs. The Doll that uh, she, Mrs. The Doll referred me to go look at her videos. Been a subscriber ever since. So she was doing her five top highlighters. 
I think it was right after the video that I, I just, you know, just took my keys, took my purse, out the door I went. Because Pop gave me my moolah early this morning. And it's, it's like, it's so all gone that tomorrow is family dinner. I have to go to the bank and withdraw some money. It's that bad, people. <sighs> this obsession of makeup is real. Okay? Tell nobody to talk to me. But anyway, I'm happy I bought this. It is so my skin tone, you can't even tell. You cannot tell, but look at that, look at that. Look at that illumination. I cannot wait. And even if I'm for family dinner, I don't know if I'm going to try this out because it's rather warm. So I'm going to, hmm, you know, I may just take a, take a back step. I don't know. But just one of my packages. So my first package has arrived. Oh, I'm so happy. See, this is the card. This is my father's handwriting in case you don't know. Hmm. Hi, Nan. Happy birthday. And I wrote you know, the date, and I'm 51 years old. Oh, yeah. I still get birthday cards from my dad. This one, this one cracked me up. This one cracked me up. Know what's so very special about this birthday card? And then you open it up and you see your mirror, so it's supposed to be yourself. And it says, the very special person who's holding it. Happy birthday. That's my father's happy birthday. And he said from Tommy, Tomcat, Mom, wherever she may be, and Pop. He always still gives me cards with Mom and Pop. Gets me right here. And speaking of Tom, yeah, he just woke up. He don't know where the hell he at. Okay. He does this to himself. So that's my little birthday card. The squirrel cracks me up. Look at that squirrel's face. Just, you know, just photobomb the card. Just, just photobomb the card. I keep all my birthday cards for my dad. I don't know how many I have, but I've got pretty much all of them. And Christmas cards as well. I don't know where he gets them, but there you go. Okay, now let's get on with the haulage. My, C my CVS haulage. Okay, let's start off with once I saw this, I had to have it because I smelled a sample. This is Burberry Brit perfume. It's the mini Burberry Brit Sheer. This is divine. And you know who's getting me hooked on perfumes? Monica, the diva. I, you know. Monica the Diva and Flower Whimsy. You two, the both of you, but mostly Monica. Because you're like getting rid of your, your perfumes and you're using them up and everything. So every time I'm watching, I'm like, oh, maybe I should, you know. I'm more of a spritzy, spritzy, just keep it moving. But every now and then, I like to, you know, dab something behind the ears. You know what I mean? On the wrists and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So this is the this is the type. This is the type of perfume. I love this scent. And the first time I smelt it was in an Ulta. Of course. Okay, next. <clears throat> I'm all excited, people. I'm all excited. Okay. Okay. Well, this is, a, of course, I have to thank. This, I always seem to buy purchases, and it's because of someone. So, once again, I have to thank Mrs. The Doll. Another Milani lip pencil. This is my third one. And this is in the shade Bordeaux. So it's like a darker, deeper red to go with my darker, deeper red. Next. Oh, and this one is Eileen's fault. Oh, and this one, no, let's do a... I'm not done with Mrs. Doll yet, Deb. She's been making videos about the matte Milani lipsticks. Matte lipsticks. Okay, so... There was a display. Didn't have many of the shades on them. I really wanted matte glam, which is a purple, all gone, of course. So I saw the model, the picture of the model, and she was wearing this red, and it's a blue-based red. 
And I said, oh, if I'm going to do a mat, that's the one I want. And I, I couldn't find the name because you know how they print it all on the bottom. So the display was sitting on top of a shelf of the Milani shelf, of the, the whole Milani display. So it was sitting right on top. Nancy took the display. Yes, I did. Took the display off. Read the sign on the bottom of what she was what she was wearing. I put it back where it was supposed to be. And it, as it turns out, she is wearing matte iconic. Matte iconic. Number 68, matte iconic. So this is matte iconic, people. Matt Iconic. Yes, I will do a swatch for you since it's open. I will do a swatch. And that is Matt Iconic. It's just a regular blue based red, but it's a very soft matte. Yes, you did say it was, Deb. So thank you very, very much. Can't wait to show this to you when I wear it. Okay. Bought another lipstick, and this one is Eileen's fault because she gets she showed me a picture of a Wet n Wild red red lipstick, and I found that particular red red lipstick. It is called Hot Red, and it's packaged up, so I can't really show it to you. I can't do a swatch, but this is Hot Red, and it is indeed a hot red. This is like the new package. This is new. So this is the new Wet n Wild packaging, I'm assuming. I don't know. It is hot red. And um, 540A, hot red. And it's all packaged up. I don't want to take the time. You'll see it when I wear it. Okay. Next. This one is Tina Marie's fault. See, there's always somebody, somebody to blame. A long time ago, I think it may have been even last year, she did a video and she bought this. And I think it was at a um, Dollar Tree. I'm, um, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, I'm not sure. And I'd been curious about it and curious about it and curious about it. But at that time, ooh, I just bit my tongue, I just bit my cheek. At the time when she was showing it, although it kept my interest, I said, mm, I have too many powders. Well, I still have too many powders, but today I felt like buying it. So this is Soft fo Focus Black Radiance True Complexion Soft Focus Finishing Powder. And it just looks so soft. And I think Tina Marie, if I'm not mistaken, you said this thing is really, really soft. It is my shade, which is Creamy, creamy Bronze. Creamy Bronze Finish. So... I have to make sure that when I tear it, because the, the name is on the label, and once you tear off the label, of course, Black Radiance has no way of writing the name of what it is, of, of the shade, anywhere else. So I have to make sure to keep this sticker, Creamy Bronze. It looks absolutely soft and beautiful, and I have another finishing powder. I don't want to hear it. It's my birthday. Be quiet. Next, okay, next is Tiffany's fault. Tiffany, I don't know if you're watching my videos, girl, but she was doing a highlight. She was doing a highlight video, and I've got three liquid highlighters in front of me. Why? Why? Am I, why? It's Tiffany's fault, and then there's this other girl. She did a video of how to get that soft J-Lo glow or something and I watched it again and she takes her foundation two parts foundation one part a uh, liquid illuminator and she was using a brush she has oily skin so she was using a brush to apply it and oh my sweet Lord Jesus the look on her face is just phenomenal of course she's not my skin tone she is of a fairer lady but it just looked so fantastic like when you see people applying makeup you want to apply it exactly the same way 
So you think you're going to look exactly the same way. Okay, so I can fool myself. I don't care. Between Tiff and her bronzer and her highlighters and that video of that girl showing how to get the J-Lo glow and all of that, I was, I was doomed. So I've been curious about this one for quite some time, so I finally broke down and I bought it. This is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator, and this is in the shade Gleam. Which is the exact shade that I wanted, I think. I think it's the exact shade that I wanted, Gleam. And um, it was the only one available, only one left. But I bought these other two because thinking, I, I bought, I, I put these two in my basket first. Thinking that I was putting this in my basket. These two were in my, because they look exactly the same, people. Hello? Hello? So, I put these two in my basket. True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator. One is in rose, kind of like a rose goldy. And the other one is golden. So, rose gold. <laughs> There you go. Maybe I could mix the two. Who knows? And there you have it. Will I be mixing them in my foundation? I don't know. They have pictures in the back to show you. I don't know if this, no, the NYX doesn't. To, to give you like a little description of how to apply and where on the face to apply. So maybe I'll take a look that way you know, they have application to open the eyes, to define your face. It primes all over and creates symmetry. So, you know, I'll give it a shot. I, well, this one is packaged up. If you want to see these, I don't know if they're packaged up inside. Yeah, they're packaged up. See, they're sealed. I ain't going to take the time to unseal people. I'll show you when I'm wearing it on my face. I'll you know, put the description in the description box and uh, all of that. Oh, there's more. I'm not done yet. The rest of, oh, here's, here's a bit of a surprise. You know my um Coco Diamond, the, the Coastal Scents Coco Diamond eyeshadow that I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love? Well, I think I found the same shade. Why am I buying the exact same shade? Because my Coco Diamond is almost finished. That's why. I think I found the exact same shade in a Revlon. This is a Revlon satin, and it's called Coco. So I'm hoping that it's pretty much that it looked, it reminded me so much of Coco Diamond that I said, oh, it looks exactly like it. And then when I saw the name, I'm like, oh, it's Coco. So hopefully this will be a similar shade. And yes, I did know, I did tell you that I'm not wearing eyeshadows right now. Maybe this will... This will punch me up on Thursday and Friday. I'm not promising anything, okay? Just saying, people. And finally, the last three purchases are from e.l.f. And there's the e.l.f. Cole Eyeliner in black. Of course, it kind of reminded me of the Pixie, the Pixie Eyeliner, but this one's a little fatter. So I'm going to have fun with that. It's a cold eyeliner in black. This one is a lash extending mascara. I never had the lash extending mascara before. I had the volumizing, which they had, and I didn't want to buy that one because I wasn't too fond of that one. There's one that's volumizing only, and this one is lengthening and volumizing. This, is my, this was one of my favorites. This was one of my favorites. And um, actually, oh, they changed the packaging on it too. Um, one of my old subscribers, she doesn't make videos anymore. Um, of course, I forgot her name. She sent me an e.l.f. lengthening and volumizing um, mascara, and I fell in love with it. So there you have it. So these were the last three purchases. And all of this madness, all my money, gone, gone. 
still going on. And now all of them are going in uh, the basket. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to keep my soft focus out. I'm going to keep my It Cosmetics CC Cream out. Of course. I got all sorts of things all over the place, people. It's just maddening. I'm keeping my Burberry Brit out. But everything else, those are the mascaras. Those are the highlighters. Lipstick, lipstick, lip liner, eyeshadow. Do you see the madness? Do you see the madness? It doesn't take long, people. It does not take long. This basket had been empty for ages. The e.l.f. plastic bag, you've noticed I haven't shown it to you in ages because I'd finished, I'd showed you everything, and now here comes the madness again. Here comes the madness again. And you would think this is everything. Oh no, there's more stuff. There's more stuff coming. There's more stuff coming. There's more stuff uh, coming. Okay? But I was really glad. I was re really, really surprised at this, that this came today. Because just this morning, early this morning when I woke up, last night, I checked my Amazon orders. And this was in delay. It had that little yellow symbol saying that it was in delay. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to write anything tonight because it was Sunday night. So I said, okay, I'm going to write to the seller tomorrow morning, which was this morning to say, you know, could you find out what the problem is, what the holdup is in regards to the delay, because it says there's a delay on the order. And I don't know if that's going to affect the date that it claims that it's going to arrive. And it came today. So if I had just been a little bit more patient, I wouldn't have had to write the email and I would have just gotten it. So now I have to write the seller back and say, thank you very much. I don't know what you did, but it arrived today. And I am going to, as if I need another one. As if I need another one. But this is full coverage, people. So I'm going to have to, mm, I'm going to have to be real careful with this one. Like, real careful. So there you go. I am, I am beyond happy. And I am also at a puzzlement because I have no money. Looking out the window again. Here we go. Tom Tom. Ooh, he's flicking his tail. He don't want to be bothered. He gave me an extra hour of sleep as my birthday gift this morning. I was very, uh, very thrilled. So there you go. Tomorrow is family dinner night. So that's tomorrow night because just because I'm not working, that doesn't mean everybody else isn't working. So 6.30 meet, meet up. And um, and then Wednesday. But let me tell you something about um, my car, which I may have to bring back in again on Wednesday. Uh, yesterday. No. Sa Saturday. I'm losing track of the days. Saturday was Cutie and Mrs. Cutie's little wedding celebration, right? And it was hot as blazes outside. So I turn on my AC in the car. How come it's not working again? How come it's not working again? Like, there's, there's nothing. It, it wasn't hot air. It was like spits of cool air, but it was, I put that stupid thing on full, like blast, nothing. No cool air whatsoever. So thank God, when, when I left, I left his, I left their place, I think it's her house or her parents' house. At, or maybe they're living there too. I don't know. The place, the house, I left the house at 6.30, quarter to 7, somewhere around there. And thank goodness the sun was, you know, it wasn't as hot. And I could roll down my windows and I drove home that way. But I was spit fire mad because wasn't it late last month, late June, that I brought the car in for the AC? 
and now I got to bring it back again. I am too pissed off. I am too pissed off. So I will bring it back again, and I will show them my uh, dissatisfaction, and they better not make me pay a damn thing. That's all I have to say. But I'm not going to be mad on my birthday. Calm down, Nancy. Today is my birthday. So that is it. That is all. Okay? Um... It's just, just, just looking at it just brings me such joy and happiness. Okay, so <laughs> there you go. That is it. That is all. This is the powder that I'm going to use on my face either tomorrow night. Yeah, I may just test this out tomorrow night. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just put on another, another powder. But I'm going to test this on Thursday when I come back to work, when I go back to work. I'll wear this and I will let you know. And most likely I'll be partnering these two up. Okay, so, okay, that is it, that's all. I love you, I love my YouTube family. I hope you enjoyed this little surprise video because I did not plan on making a video until I went to the CVS. And then it, it you know, it was just, I was just piling on, piling on, piling on, and I'm like, I think I need to make a video. And then when I came home and I saw the package, I'm like, oh, I know I have to make a video now. So there you have it. So happy birthday to me. I hope everybody else is enjoying their July 13th. Let me take this away. And um, hope you're all working not too hard, hopefully. And uh, that's it. That is all. Um, what's on my lips in case you're interested is just, uh, you know, one of my um, one of these. The uh, Sally Hansen Natural Butter Lip Shines. And this is in the shade Wildflower, which all of them are just a clear to me. So this is Wildflower. Okay, so that's it. And the rest is just plain face, as you can see. All right, and I think this, I should have done, well, of course I should have done my, well, this weekend I couldn't have because I went to Cutie. And I should have done it the weekend before, but the weekend before we had uh, Woman Problems. Yeah, so probably most likely this Saturday or Sunday, definitely going to get my hair done. Okay, so that is that. With that, upon that, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think of all my goodies. And if you have any of them, please let me know what you think of them. If anybody has this, please let me know. If anybody has the uh, soft focus aside from you, Tina, let me know what you think about it, Tina, the soft focus powder. Um, if anybody has a soft focus finishing powder, let me know what you think about that. And that's all. I'm babbling because I love you and I'm, I'm going to be missing you again unless something else comes tomorrow. I love you. Bye now.